Hello folks and welcome to Paddock Pass, the post Abu Dhabi Grand Prix edition for 2015, the last one of this season. Uh, and those two guys in taking another 1-2 have, I believe, wrapped up 86% of all the points possible for 2015. Quite an astonishing achievement. Um, not a great race, not a classic. Uh, a race once again dictated by strategy, um, as we saw towards the end. Or should we say the lack of of an alternate strategy, the lack of an availability possibly of an alternate strategy. It, I'm sure, will be a topic that is discussed over the winter, both internally and outside uh, of Mercedes-AMG Petronas, but can't take away from the fact this team has been utterly superb once again. Champions for a second year in a row, Lewis Hamilton, champion for a third time in Formula 1. Uh, but Nico Rosberg ending the season on a high. Six poles in a row, three wins in a row, uh, and leading home another Mercedes 1-2. It was Kimi Raikkonen in third, and here are your top three. It's been a pretty lonely race, I'm sure, but how good does it feel to have finished this season with a podium? Oh, it was better than a bit further up on the road, but uh, you, know, you always want to win and uh, challenge for that. I think we had more or less okay the speed, but we had uh, some small issues on the pit stop, so it really dropped us off uh, a bit. But um, you know, so far, the weekend went quite smoothly, no issues, and the car's been handling well. So. Obviously, it's a, it's a much nicer, nicer to have that kind of weekend. Is it frustrating you keep getting podiums in countries where they don't have champagne? Well, it makes no difference, but obviously, obviously, um, I take podium, but you know, we, we're here to try to win races, so no, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. And how well set up do you feel now for next year, given all the work that's gone into it? Well, this result doesn't change next year, unfortunately. And uh, you know, I think uh, if we can make a normal, clean, clean weekends. We we can have a good results, but you know, we have to clean up for certain things. And uh, then I'm sure, sure we have the speed and everything to have a, have a strong year. So Nia, uh, we were thinking uh, about three quarters of the way through that race that you were going to take it to Nico. You could have got him at the end there. Were you confident you could have done so as well? Not with that strategy, no. But uh, you know, I, I did what I could. Um, I did what I could to, to close the gap. The tires were dead by the time I got to like five laps to the end. So. Was there any thought of putting the super softs on at that last stop? Um, for sure, I was thinking I, of, of which one to, to go with. But honestly, I didn't know what the best uh, route would be. So um, you know, the, the prime tire was doing so well. I was looking after it really well in that middle stint. That's why I was so close. And then. To come out 11 seconds behind, I mean, even if I put the super soft on, I wouldn't have made it. Uh, we lost way too much time with that, uh, that strategy, I, I honestly. It's mm. been such a great year. Um, to finish it talking about strategy would be, I think, to do a disservice to the job Definitely. that you've done. Let's look back on the season, what you've achieved, who you've become over the course of the last 12 months. Uh, yeah, it's been just, it's just been an incredible year. I couldn't... Coming off an amazing year last year, I, I honestly could have only prayed and hoped for a year as good. But to have a better year, I'm, I'm, you know, it, it blew myself and and everyone's expecting expectations away. So, really, just grateful for this team. They've done an amazing job to push the boundaries even further, and and the hard work that's gone in from so many people. Um, once again, I'm just a small chink in a, a chain, a long chain of lots and lots of people who who have helped achieve these results. So. Nico, what a tremendous way to finish the season. Six poles, three wins on the bounce. You must be delighted. Yeah, for sure. Excited about that. It's, uh, it's awesome to finish the season on a high like that and go into the winter break you know, uh, with such success. It's great. Um, when Lewis pitted later than you in that, in that last stint, were you worried he might have put on a set of super softs and, and taken it down to the wire? Um, well, worried, no, because I was confident that I was... My, my strategy was the optimum, you know, so I was confident that I was... Uh, on a good good pace and everything, and uh, looking after the tires and controlling the race. So, um, but of course, you know it's never easy, and uh, I have to get, had, had to get my head down and keep going. And and so uh, very pleased, you know, with how it went, and and that Lewis uh, didn't come anywhere near uh, near me in the end. These last few races we've seen, when you've got that optimum strategy, you are nigh on unbeatable in this car. How important is it going to be next year to get? that advantage on the Saturday over Lewis, make sure you have that optimum strategy to take the championship. Yeah, the big difference really in the end was always getting into turn one first, you know, and when, when I manage, when I do that, after that I can win the races also, you know, and beginning of the season I just always lost out in the in the qualifying and down to turn one, and, and uh, so that cost me dearly. Uh, a bit of the glamour of Formula One for you here, folks, behind the scenes. Um, down here at the harbour side, 
I have no idea who they're broadcasting for. I've never seen them in my life. Uh, but our dear friends from Finland on the right, Oscari and Tony, uh, around there, I think BBC just filming around there. It's great. It's, uh, it's always a really nice atmosphere out here at the end of the race. Uh, everybody getting their, getting their pieces to camera done. There's the Brazilians uh, getting their pieces to camera done at the end of the Grand Prix. Uh, one guy who I think can be very happy at the end of his season is Sebastian Vettel. Um, three race victories for Ferrari in his debut season with the team outscored Kimi Raikkonen by a tremendous total. Um, didn't have the easiest of weekends. A big blunder in qualifying left him with you know, pretty much a mountain to climb today, but he, he did climb it. Very nearly got to the podium, but a fourth place finish. A strong way to end the season for Sebastian Vettel uh, in his debut season at Scuderia Ferrari. Hey, Sebastian. Um, not finishing the season on the podium, but what a fantastic drive. How good did it feel? Well, obviously, I would have loved... Here, they don't even they, they don't have champagne, do no, they? You're okay. So I didn't miss the champagne. I can have some <laughs> later. But, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, with the, with the beginning, I sort of uh, stayed out of trouble and then realised that the pace was quite good on the first set. Uh, there were some hopes that maybe, uh, you know, towards the end of the race, I might have a shot, but... Uh, I think in the end, uh, from a team's point of view, it was the per perfect result. Uh, obviously, I was trying to help Kimi as much as possible when he came through and didn't want to hold him up, hoping that he can uh, chase the Mercedes. But, uh, yeah, I think he was very close. Our pace was good in the race, but not close enough. So, uh, Unfortunately, we have to close the story of this year, uh, knowing that it's not quite enough. But uh, for next year, obviously, a big push. Um, but the good thing, the best thing, I think, about this year is that uh, you don't need to push the people. You know, they... They are willing to give everything they have, and uh, it's a very good atmosphere in the team. So uh, after a couple of drinks tonight to enjoy um, you know, the, the feeling of a good season behind us, I think we're all fired up and willing to come back stronger for next year uh, to make sure that uh, we end up on the podium, similar to this year, but uh, on the top step. This season's only been over for a few minutes, and already there's expectation and excitement about what you guys can do for next year. How much do you feel that, given how successful this year was already? Well, to be honest, uh, I don't give a careful Pasca. <laughs> Only he understood. I don't give a Pasca on uh, what uh, what people expect. I think uh, we know where we want to go. I know where I want to be. So, I think uh, naturally we uh, we want to win. So, thanks for the reminder and uh, thanks for telling us there are, there are expectations. But I think we naturally have expectations. That that's why probably the disappointment also inside the team the last couple of years was so big because simply didn't come together for many reasons but um, now is a different time and uh, yeah uh, I think things are looking good uh, we knew that it's a new start from this year it has been a phenomenal season that surprised not just you but uh, many of us as well so um, we take it and uh, we know that we want to be stronger and we're confident we can be next year maybe it's not an expectation on our part maybe it's just an excitement on our part but how good does it feel being a ferrari driver having achieved so much already in, in a short career with them to be part of the family to be you know to look so comfortable and confident in red it's like we can't even remember what you look like oh, in blue now i think i can remember it's not that long ago <laughs> only 12 months ago but uh yeah i think um you know i in the end i'm i'm very lucky that i uh, had uh, great team so far um, to race with Toro Rosso I think was the right place for me to start being very young and uh, sort of a family then uh, Red Bull was more of a grown up place uh, where I matured a lot and now I think uh, yeah, with the experience that I have I think it's the, the right time to join uh, the Reds and uh, very very pleased um, and very happy, happy obviously uh, it's a great team it's very you know great, it's great fun to work with and uh, Apart from the passion for racing, there's the passion for Ferrari as well, which um, I guess I always had in a way since I was a child, so I'm very happy. Thank you.